toes till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Hi guys, welcome again to my channel and to my kitchen. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the meanest one pan shrimp recipe in your kitchen. No oven, just stove top style. Come on and let's get started. You don't remember where you're coming from. You don't remember where you're coming from. You don't remember where you're coming from. Rastafari. Why you turn your back on your brother when him need you? You don't remember the days I'm when him feed you. You know when no obligation but you win some respect. All you need to do is just give him one if you get turn your back on your brother when him need you. Now the first thing you're going to need of course is your shrimp because that is the main idea of this dish. Now I have some medium sized shrimp here uh, that has been cleaned, washed and deveined. You want to make sure so you clean up the shrimp nice and clean and wash it with a little bit of vinegar and lemon juice and that was basically that. Now I'm also going to add some chopped onion to it. I'm also going to add some parmesan cheese of course and it's going to be so yummy some hot sauce here i'm using keith lauren king spice collection now if you don't have this let's go for some hot pepper any kind of pepper of your choice ginger powder i'm going to put to it i'm also going to be adding some tomato paste as well parsley flakes i'm using that now if you have fresh parsley go ahead and knock yourself out use it no matter i'm also going to have some vinegar right there now i'm using my potatoes for this recipe go ahead if you want to use the baby potatoes use it use whatever kind of potato will make you happy in your kitchen all i did was cut it up nice nice like a bite size wash it i'm good to go now you're also going to need some mixed vegetables right there butter of course i have right here green bell peppers if you have any kind of other bell peppers use it it does not matter now you're gonna need some flour right here if you don't have flour go for some cornstarch heavy cream if you don't have every cream go for any kind of milk of your choice now to kick it up a mean notch i have right here seasoned salt and seafood season is a must onion powder and garlic powder right there so then i have salt and black pepper right there and then I have some paprika and some dry thyme. If you don't have dry thyme, grab yourself fresh thyme. I happen to have dry thyme. If you have powdered thyme, go ahead, use it. No matter. Come on and let's get started. Now we're moving on to our very first step into making the meanest shrimp recipe in the kitchen ever. Like in ever. All the amount for this recipe will be down below. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my potatoes in here. Now, in my kitchen, everything is all about flavor. So I'm going to season my potato. I'm going to add some black pepper to it, salt for flavor, and I'm going to add some seasoned salt to it, Jamaican seasoned salt, and mix all this together, just like so. Now I'm moving on to my next step. I'm going to season up the shrimp there. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and black pepper. Season salt and mix this in and set this aside. Now I'm moving on to step number two. I have my pot right this up and all I'm going to do is add some cooking oil to it. Now cooking oil is any oil of your choice I'm using vegetable oil you could use corn oil olive oil whatever oil, oil, any kind of oil your choice now I have my pot there it's time to put my potatoes in and give this baby some nice color Now that my potatoes are the color that I want it to be, we're going to take those off the heat. Now I'm move to the next step. I have my pot back on the fire. The same oil that I used to fry the potato, it has a lot of flavor from that potato. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my butter to that. Then I add my flour to it. And then you want to add your tomato paste. Mm 
Add your onions in. Gonna add your vegetables, which is your mixed vegetables, and your green bell peppers. Add your water. And then you add your heavy cream or milk to it. Now it's time to give this baby tons and tons and tons of flavor. So we're going to add some ginger powder to it. Now if you don't have ginger powder, use fresh ginger. Vinegar. A little bit of hot sauce. And if you don't have hot sauce, use any kind of spice of your choice or you don't have to add it at all. Thyme and paprika. Salt and black pepper. Seafood seasoning, all-purpose seasoning. Fresh parsley or dried parsley is fine. Onion powder and garlic powder. Mix that in. And at this stage, you want to make sure your fire is on medium heat, not on high heat. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my potatoes back in. That is how it's going to look. To that, you're going to go ahead and add your shrimp in. You want to make sure you turn your fire down. Turn down your fire and turn it down on low heat because we don't want to overcook these shrimp. We want these shrimp to cook nice and tender, nice and soft. All right, so that's how that looks. There you have it guys, I'm all done. Another great tasting recipe. Give this video a thumbs up. Share, share, share. Let me know what you'd like to see me cooking next in my kitchen. And as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy. I'm gonna let this cook for a good 30 minutes on medium heat. Cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it's done simmer, a time for we eat. So see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation for coverage. You know, like bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's ten dollars for this palette.